Hello, this is Ms. Allington here at Research Triangle High School. All right, so we're going to go over drawing weather fronts on our weather maps for your project, for your weather project. All right, so again, my example is Florida, um, but you guys have cities in North Carolina, um, but it's the same basic concept. So uh, in Florida on October 6th, um, there was a stationary front that kind of uh, extended through Jacksonville, which is right here, and across the state like that, um, and resulted in a whole bunch of light uh, extended rain right before the hurricane. And then we also had a hurricane down here, which was our low pressure system. So we had a low pressure system down here, a hurricane, and a stationary front going like this. On the following day, on October 7th, um, our hurricane had moved north a little bit. So our low pressure system is right off the coast here. And our stationary front has moved way off of the coast over here. Um, but now we have a warm front that's kind of uh, coming off of the hurricane. So. So we have warm air back here um, where the hurricane is, and we can see that that definitely makes a change in our temperatures because behind the warm front, we have warmer temperatures. And then on October 8th, we have a cold front moving in from the west. And the hurricane has moved on up the coast. Um, here is what the weather map should look like with the fronts on them. 